And all I know is you're fine when you do what you do And babe, I wanna make you mine when I see those hips move What is going on you guys? T1 Tony back yet again This time hopefully for good We're jumping right into American Truck Simulator <clears throat> We're doing a uh, little owner operator type deal with Feder FedEx Express Federal Express uh, We're doing the Express route We have our truck and trailer here Both are matching And uh, right now we're at Walbert And uh, warehousing And what we're going to be doing is taking some ice cream to Las Vegas, I believe, or into Arizona. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to see what happens here. Uh, driving a Freightliner Classic here. Um, got my passenger. And uh, we're going to head over to, I think it's Arizona. Just check what we're doing here. Yeah, we're going from Las Vegas to Flagstaff, Arizona. We got our FedEx truck there. A little uh, sneak preview over there. But uh, let's talk about the truck here real quick. Let's take an outside view. We've got a custom FedEx Express paint job here going on. We got the uh, LEDs on the visor spelling out FedEx, which I think is kind of cool. Took a little bit of time to make that. Custom Freightliner Classic with the uh, custom 53-foot uh, reefer trailer. I know FedEx doesn't use reefer trailers. But for all intents and purposes today, we are. Um, this is the Freightliner Classic made by John Ruda. Shout out to John Ruda for these amazing looking trucks. We got it set up with a little wing kit. Uh, custom fenders matching our paint job. A little APU on the back. Bunch of chicken lights everywhere. Beautiful looking things. LED headlights. The attention to detail on this truck is absolutely fantastic. John Ruda calls this a freight shaker uh, for copyright purposes, but in all intents and purposes, it is a Freightliner classic. Um, the interior view, like you, like I said, is it's just it's, attention to detail is so crisp and clean compared to uh, you know the uh, vanilla trucks, if you will. But anyways, uh, drive safe. ladies and gentlemen, let's drive safe. We're heading out. What I am using, I am using a combination of mouse keyboard steering wheels and pedals all at the same time we'll be driving with my pedals and my steering wheel here logitech g29 for the win amazing set if you really will the force feedback is amazing i'm not using a shifter because i don't have my shifter anymore i got rid of it and sold it got some uh, nice mirrors going on over here Set. Doing an automatic uh, gear transmission setup here today. Uh, for the reason being because I don't have my uh, shifter set up, which is okay. Just gotta make sure everybody's not coming. Turn left. Just a little wide here, just so we have some clearance. I'm making a left hand turn out of here. Turn left. Make sure we got everything going on over here. We're out. Make sure we signal. There we go. Okay, right, so we're talking, hauling, um, excuse me there. We're hauling ice cream from Arizona to, uh, or I'm sorry, from Nevada to Arizona. Correction. Uh, the reason why I'm using a combination of keyboard, mouse, and uh, steering wheel pedals is for the simple fact that uh, I can't have everything set up the way I want on the uh, steering wheel and pedals and all that. I'm going to shut that off since we got the GPS there in the top right. And, uh, mouse is for... Uh, viewing purposes when I'm uh, trying to make these turns sometimes. Yeah, swing wide, get in here in the middle lane. Let's get rolling here. Go back to the center view. The one thing I don't like about this uh, setup is the fact that the shifting in an automatic is not, does not coincide with uh, how you would really shift the semi. You lock the engine too much. And typical shifting is between 15 and 20 on the attack uh, there. And we're way down low trying to switch gears here. So it is what it is. It's a video game. We can't really uh, do too much about that. Apply the brakes here. Go straight. 
straight on. You don't hit these people. The drop visor in this truck is really nice. Uh, the only reason why. I, hey, where are you going, dude? What are you doing? Uh, like I was saying, the drop visor in this uh, in this truck it really prohibits you from seeing a lot. But there's really not much that you can do. Oh, look, there's uh, Coca-Cola right next to us. Operating from a VNL. I can't see that the uh, the light is red or green or yellow or whatever's going on here because of the drop visor. Um, but it is what it is. Nothing I really can do about it. I like the way it looks on the truck, and uh, I'm gonna leave it as that. The way I do it is I just wait for the other traffic to go. better I probably won't do that any better in this game anywhere else trying to make a right turn like that beautiful 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 so uh wanted to get back into uh um, and then turn left the YouTube stuff here so been gone for a while I know um turn left a lot of things have come up in life uh checking to make sure that that light is green for us here things have come up in life where I've had to focus on other things and uh, it's what right. really and happened right. uh, with me disappearing and all that stuff. Right. Um, but like I said, I'm going to come back and get into it here. Try and push out some more videos, uh, you know, with COVID and stuff going on. I didn't catch COVID, thank God, but it's uh, one of those things where I was fortunate enough to uh, still have my job and was kept extremely busy throughout the entire process and a lot of things have changed within my job and personal life so being able to do some YouTube stuff wasn't at the top of my priority list at the time which I, I feel is quite understandable for, uh, for people but uh, it is what it is and I'm back now I get everything reset back up and hopefully we'll uh, pump out some videos get some good content going um, right, and then turn discovered right. Discovered a recruitment agency. That's nice. Um, got a lot of stuff set up for right. uh, for you guys. Um, some uh, American Truck Simulator. I uh, got some good 5M stuff coming out. Uh, for those of you who don't know what 5M, 5M is uh, GTA Online, but just in a role play uh, aspect. Oh my god, it's been dark out here. Um, where you, uh, basically it is GTA Online where you, uh, like I said, you, you play GTA Online. It's, it's different uh, where you role play. Some sheriff's office stuff. Uh, got some good stuff coming out, like I said, in mind to, to push out. But we'll see what happens as time goes on. down to with time wise I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get enough time to do my video editing and uh, recording and stuff like that without being disturbed that's the biggest of my concern is being disturbed while recording and then ruining the videos it happens but you know what can we do for the, for the most part um, coming in February there's a new Harry Potter game coming out it's called uh, Harry Potter Legacy and I'm really looking forward to it. It's an open world style Harry Potter game set in uh, the 1800s. Let's see if we can't squeeze in here real quick. Um, before the time of Harry and Hermione and Ron and all of them. Uh, so this is going to be quite interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've already pre-ordered it. And 
it's in my steam. Let's get a right lane here. And when it comes out, I am going to be pumping out of videos of that a lot. I'm talking about a lot of videos, probably at least once or twice a week on that. Hopefully. Achievement unlocked. Look at that Powell's Trail. I don't even know what Powell's Trail is, but that's okay. Um, and we'll see what, what else I, video games I can get into. If there's anything that you guys want to see or, you know, have me check out. I'm going to be focusing mainly on video games, really. Uh, not so much product reviews or anything like that. It's just too hectic to do stuff like that. And plus, me being me, I know how I am. When I get a new product, I want to check it out almost instantly. I can't wait to, to take it home and, uh, you know, get it up on the table, get the camera set up and all stuff like that. So, I think I'm just going to focus on the video game aspect, uh, drifting there. And focus on producing stuff like that for you guys. Uh, like I said, if there's any video games that you particularly want to see me play and check out and stuff like that, give my opinions on, you let me know, put it in the comments, send me a message, it don't matter. Um, I do have a Discord set up, but it's not really something that I have open to the public, so I wouldn't recommend using that. Um, it's more stuff for me to use privately. Uh, there isn't anybody in there, it's just myself. It's stuff that I can post links to to remember and remind myself to do certain things uh, as I check it on a daily, per periodic basis. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're just going to jump in here on a, you know, classic game, really. I would call it, it's, it's well known, it's popular. I have fun with this. Uh, there's a lot of modifications you can get for this game. A lot of uh, accessories, like the chicken lights, the strobe lights, and you know, all the marker lights that you got. Different truck models, you got Freightliner, Cascadia's, uh, FLB, cab overs. Uh, they've got... You name it, Peterbilt, 389s, 572s, uh, multiple versions of the 389s. I have the 389 Glider from John Ruda, which is a beautiful, beautiful looking truck. Uh, I have Viper 2s, uh, 389, which is also another beautiful, beautiful looking truck. Uh, they got Kenworth, the W900. If you don't have this game, I recommend you checking it out, seeing what you can get. It's a, it's a lot of fun. They also have uh, ATS MP. Or Truckers MP is what it's called, I think, uh, where you can play with other people online. I don't really have that. It's a pain to set up. And once you get it set up, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is just single player. Just me by myself with AI. Uh, random events. Detours. Cl road closures. Stuff like that. Uh, I've played this game for years now. Uh, and it's, 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 it's pretty decent. Like I said, I have fun with it. A little close to this guy here. What are you only doing like 60? Oh, we're doing a uh, way station. So we'll uh, pull into the way station here. See what our weight is on with all this ice cream on board. Truck trailer and ice cream. Finding Truck. a new route. In front of me. I don't know why we're finding a new route when we're just going through a uh, way station. Uh, turn my hazard lights on here because that's what you do when you pull into a way station. It should be 15 miles an hour at a time. The green light, we're going to pull on right behind this guy. Roll up here slowly. A little gas. It's a funny story, I, I do drive truck. IRL, uh, that's my job. I do drive trucks. And I do have to stop for way stations like this 79,000 pounds basically 79 100 truck is should be rated for 80k without permits um so we're good there we're we're, we're right on point on the money um let's get back on our journey here way stations are no joke you, you must stop it's the law you have to stop you can get a, a nasty ticket uh if you don't uh, they usually have troopers that will uh, are waiting on the outside in, in the uh, scale guys. If it is a scale house like that, uh, they can see with cameras that you've uh, blown past them. It's called uh, running the scale. And uh, it's illegal. You'll get pulled over and you get a roadside uh, inspection with a ticket as well. A guaranteed ticket as well as your inspection. 
Uh, most of the time, even if you're going through, like, uh, that would be a level one. Or, uh, I'm sorry, a level two inspection. Which would be a uh, vehicle check, weight check. Um, I believe it's a level two. I know some of these lights, the uh, left turn will go green before the other ones, like I, I had them here. We're gonna pull a little wide, and then we're gonna yank that wheel over. Stuff like that, anything that doesn't need to be tempered. 
lower deck. There's a step deck with the side on it. But he's got a, a, quite a few trailers. He's got the USA trailer pack. It's got comes with the uh, low boys. Go straight on. Uh, low boy in it, uh, flatbed in it, the reefer trailer, and I think there's like a, a tanker or a hopper, one of the two. Amazing attention to details, super crisp, clear textures, uh, different options, more LED lights, stuff like that, uh, mud flaps, toolboxes, filler panels, stuff like that. All, all the uh, stuff you need to make your truck look like your truck, you know, make it feel homey and personable, really. This guy's going to be it's going a little slow here, 55 miles an hour in the 75 zone. I believe that's a tour bus. like I said to get back into this YouTube stuff try and get more videos out I mean it's a passion of mine I love making YouTube videos really and uh, playing games is one of my favorite things to do uh, when I'm not working it's one of the biggest things I do obviously I have stuff to do in real life but when I get to sit down and play video games it's one of the uh, get into that zone per se just activate my engine brakes here gorgeous sounding jigs but like I said when I get to sit down and you just get lost in it and, uh, it's really enjoyable the time flies and you have a lot of fun so I figured you know while I'm still doing that let me see if I can get back into producing videos and pushing things out so people you know can have fun and enjoy together you know I mean obviously some video games are going to be more serious Go straight on fun and you know, lots of laughing and stuff like that, joking around. Every game is different. Um, personally, I can say is that I like more realistic type games, so, you know, the more realism, the better chance of me playing it is. So, like, uh, a lot of people play Valorant and Apex Legends and, you know, Fortnite and stuff like that. This stuff doesn't really uh, speak to me, per se. It doesn't isn't in my, my wheelhouse or on my taste palette. Um, 5M, it's kind of realistic. I like that. You know, ATS, Driving Simulator, Squad, you know, Milsim, stuff like that. I can get behind. And there's, a, you know, different games that I, I, I don't mind playing. You know, if they're like story-based or uh, pick-and-choose type deal, that I can get behind. Some of those are pretty cool. I've played a couple of those in the past. Um, so we're going to see what we can get into. Maybe I'll get into uh, some non-realistic, more like, you know, I don't know what the, the best way to describe them as, uh, fan fantasy, I guess. Um, stuff like that. But like I said, we'll, we'll see what happens. Time will tell. Just uh, take it off slowly and surely as we go and see what you know what's popping what's trending see if we can't get behind any of those games uh, give my take on it stuff like that so we're coming into the grand canyon general area now and it's nighttime i don't think we're going to really see the grand canyon if it's even in Keep around right here and then exit right we're going to be taking this exit here so we'll start jaking down Looks like we got a big exit right turned ramp here. We're gonna jig for the most part down this ramp before we start applying our brakes. Go straight on. So it looks like we're gonna. It's not a stop, it's just an interchange for a different highway. I don't have my retarder on because it's uh, on the keyboard. So we're taking up speed here, so we'll just start jigging so we don't roll. It's on my keep the retarder is on my keyboard and uh, it's a toggle it's not a uh, in momentary like uh, my jigs are my jigs are momentary on the uh, keyboard there keep left so we're gonna merge left here onto this highway it's clear to me we'll get on over here one thing I don't like about the ATS stuff is these run-up ramps are very 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 small you don't have a lot of time to get up to speed before you have to merge into your lane of travel. 
turn them off now that the uh, got it. But that's a nice looking front end, I think. Trailer's got a bunch of lights. We're through that light, so I'm not gonna worry Keep about left. stopping. And then turn left. Ooh, we gotta make this left here. Wasn't paying attention. Turn kind left. of illegal, but you know what? Whatever. We gotta do what we gotta do. Trying to show you guys the truck here. Car coming. Let it pass, and then we'll go. Wow, we're really in city limits here. It's gonna be probably pretty tight. Cut that a little. Get ready to turn far. right. Turn right. That's all right. We got ourselves a little. type of turn we're going to take here. Come a little bit far out. This uh, fire engine might not stop. So we're going to make this right. Cut into oncoming traffic just for a quick second. We can swing that trailer there. Curb it a little bit. But that's okay. Oh, and our destination's right up here on the left here. Or on the right hand side, my apologies. Let's double check that there's no stoplight here. Go straight on. There really isn't, that's weird. Okay. We're gonna be making a right hand turn into this parking lot, I believe. Turn right. And looks like we're actually gonna be delivering it to a store here. We are, so what I'm gonna do with this is that he's Eddie's Farms, Eddie's. Here we are. Safe and sound. Oh, look at that, we're right on time. So what I want to do is leave my hazard lights on. We're going to back into this parking garage, or this parking lot. Music starting because we're, be, we're getting a little off top. Off top. I'm sorry, off out of time. A little horn toot right there. So we can't back in here. I'm gonna do this just to, for safety purposes. We're gonna curb it just a little bit. Got the spread axle going on, but it is what it is. Jack this thing. Make a U turn here, real quick. Feeling this is not gonna be the right spot where it wants me. I have a feeling it's gonna have to go up to that side, which is fine. I can just pull out to make that back. But sometimes they have you, ooh, that's gonna be tight. They have you bring it up onto this side. Ooh, close but no cigar, so we should make this. And yep, it's gonna be back there, so that's gonna be tight to do. Pull back out and back it in this way. So consider him as making a U-turn here. Do that, I will do. Just curve it a little bit. You got a little LED bar in the back there, and it uh, helps with the backing up to the trailers. Not so much when the trailers are connected. Super tight, so I might have to make this another cut. Yep. Got some shrubs on the front of this thing, but I don't really think we need them right now. For this application, we're not really doing any crazy out of the area, kind of oversized permits or anything like that. So, it's all good. We got a decent amount of room on the side of that curb there. Just gonna miss that, which is fine. Come close to this one here. Which is fine. Cut it, bring it back. Pretty dark back here, not gonna lie. Surprisingly for a loading dock area. Pretty dark. 
just in time. We should make this right onto the dock. So we're not bringing it to a loading dock. That's what we're doing. It should just come out to be perfectly in place. Maybe a little bit off. Maybe a lot of bit off. Oh well. That's alright. I'm having fun. I'm not gonna stop just yet. I'm gonna pull forward here. And then stop right about here. And they can deal with that stuff. And we'll offload the trailer. Let's see if we got it in time. We did get it in time. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. So we made $21,920 delivering from Las Vegas to Flagstaff, 263 miles. It took us seven hours in game and uh, 36 exact gallons, which is kind of cool. I, I I mean, I guess so, you know, it's like we got that spot on. Um, not a bad run, to be honest with you. And... Uh, not bad at all. So we got empty pallets and used packaging going back to uh, Arizona. Staying in Arizona, I'm sorry, rather. Uh, one actually going from right down the road for $630. I don't think that's going to be worth it to me to do that. You know, I mean, yeah, I'm already here, but still. But uh, I'm going to end this video here for now. You know, I'm happy to see you guys. Welcome back to the channel, you know. And uh, I hope to see you guys more often. You let me know what you guys want to see. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you feel like it. Um, especially with uh, recommendations on what to do and what to check out and stuff like that. You guys let me know. But until the next time, you guys, as always, you stay safe out there and have a good one.